So we're here today to ask the question, can this make you a better chiropractor? Hello, it's Paul at Instant Cairo, and today we have a new toy. We have a great one today. We'll be reviewing the TMT tool, which is to do with anterior thoracics. And I got totally carried away with this one because I actually created a mini tutorial uh, that's going to go on after this and how I increase thoracic uh, range of motion and decrease pain using a variety of things, including the TMT tool. So stick around for that. So full disclosure, I did get this. I did buy this. <laughs> but I bought it for one cent and they were totally cool. I, I contacted them. I see their little ads on Facebook and I asked, you know, can I review one of these for the podcast? And they said, of course, we've seen your podcast. That's fine. And they gave me no restrictions whatsoever on if I was to say it was good, bad or anything. Well, I did get it for one cent and they're not expensive anyway. They're like $20. I must admit, it's, it's always like this with chiropractic companies. They, they, they are super like the Arthroslim instrument, Impact Inc., who sponsor this podcast never mind me reviewing I guess a competing tool maybe I don't think so uh, but they don't actually monitor anything we say and even when I get banned from Facebook because of my controversial topics and things like that they're really cool about it so thank you for them for that and thank you for the TMT tool because they're super cool about that as well but first we have a question to ask who are you so, we get to the age-old question, are you a tall guy or not a tall guy? These form various camps, but usually people don't know what camp they're actually in. Flexion distraction is a tool, we can agree on that, and adjusting instruments are too. But what about SOT blocks, drop benches, and flexion distraction? These are tools too, right? And don't get me started on x-ray machines, patella hammers, and massage oil. We all use tools of some kind, even if we say we don't. But DD and BJ never use tools. Well, hold my norocolometer while I discuss this. When the drop table was shown to BJ Palmer, he said it would revolutionize chiropractic. He seems like a tool guy. Or should we say a guy that wants the best results for the patient. So let's not limit ourselves and look at what's out there that can make our patients feel better, get better, and allow us to adjust better. So every chiropractor uses tools of some kind, even if it's just electronic notes. So we're all tool guys. Man, I wish that had worked out different on the graphics. So today we're reviewing the thoracic manipulation tool, which you can buy from Amazon from a link below for around $20. I don't get any money from it. And it's designed to make your anterior thoracic adjustments a lot better. When doing anterior thoracic adjustments, multiple things occur at the same time, but some of them can be painful to either you or the patient. This tool is designed to decrease both of the problems and make for crisper, cleaner adjustments. So does it work? So you place the rubber in between your fingers when you make the correct finger form for the adjustment. And I use different fingers though. I use the, the bigger fingers because for me, it's, it's a stronger finger and pain, it decreases the pain in the thoracic area. So if I'm gonna get an increase of range of motion and it's more a subluxation component, I'm going to use the Arthrostim instrument because I know that that increases range of motion dramatically and it solves most people's problems. But we do deal in extremes as chiropractors. We do that a lot because people come to us because they haven't been able to get better. And for that, I do manual adjusting for the more fixated component. And then I use the Arthrostim afterwards to increase the range of motion after I've tackled the fixation part and I use that for the subluxation part and between them, we get rid of the restriction and we increase the range of motion. And then usually in the thoracics, it's an extension. And so I'll do that straight away. I'll adjust either cross bilateral, anterior thoracic or whatever. And then I'll get the arthrostim out and I'll use the adjustment straight after that to increase the range of motion. And between the two, that gets the hard cases a lot better. And so this tool should help us do that. And it always amazes me after you do a manual adjustment that if you use the arthrostim afterwards, how much increase the range of motion? It increases it way more than you think is possible. That's good. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? 
Now, of course, I only suggest doing this with the author sim as it's the only true toggle recoil that operates at 12 to 14 beats per second, which is the body's low beta somatomotor neuron level, or to lay people how the body and brain communicate with each other. And so if you're trying to use some other tool for this, like the your granddad's adjusting tool, it's not going to work. Don't phone me complaining that the technique I'm going to show you in a second doesn't work because it's designed for a specific tool and that tool is the only one it works with. Now I've tried other anterior adjusting tools and age over time. I've tried the anteater, although it's been a while now, but that was a good one, but it was always too big and too deep. My hand had space to move around in and there was too much room in it. And I operate a three room system, which you can get off of instantcairo.com for free and it's just too big to carry around with me. And it didn't feel like it was worth the investment to buy three or four of them, or eight of them for my rooms, to have them in there, because I only used it occasionally. It's, it's not like the Arthur Stimble of Fibrocusser where I could buy one for each room and know I was going to use it. And so that was something I had to bear in mind, but this is $20 and it fits in my pocket. I don't need to buy eight. I can buy one per chiropractor, so buy two or three, and it just goes in my pocket, and I really like that about it. Now, the manufacturer could have charged more because it's well designed and it does what it's meant to do. Uh, tighten the hand and make crisper, cleaner adjustments, and it is noticeably in cleaner adjustments, and it doesn't change or destroy the feel that you have in your hand. It does compress the hand, which it's designed to do, and I felt like it was gonna increase the pressure too much on my hand, but, or oh, on the patient, because it was a lot firmer hand. But it didn't, the adjustments released quicker and cleaner. It was more of a problem on my part, because I thought I needed the same force, when this decreased the force I needed, so I could do it a lot cleaner. So there's lots of upsides to this tool. The only downside is to downsize for thoracic adjustments in general, well, anterior thoracics, and that can be damaged to yourself and uh, on your chest and ribs, and a bit of uncomfortableness for the patient if you do it slightly wrong. But this product is a great product. It's not a good product, it's a great product. And at this price, it's perfect for anterior thoracics. But it's not the perfect tool for anterior thoracics overall. That one doesn't exist. I haven't come across one yet. What I wish would happen is that this manufacturer here would combine something like the anteater into this, and that would just be fantastic. And so it wouldn't hurt your hand, uh, but it would give crisper, cleaner adjustments. And I think this company may be the company to do that. You can try it for less than one adjustment, and it's gonna affect your anterior thoracics quite a lot. You're gonna get crisper, cleaner anterior thoracic release and are more comfortable for you and the patient. It's not a purchase you'll regret and only $20 and you can keep it in your pocket. So is it a buy? Definitely yes. Uh, there's a link in the description. I don't get any money from it. Uh, there's not much profit I'm guessing in $20 for this. I hope you enjoyed this quick chiropractic gear review. We're going to do more of these in the future. And if you have anything that you'd like to send in to get reviewed, then send it in. We've got a portable table for graduates and new students. And of course, we have the big guys, the Arthur Stim and Vibracusser that we're going to review. And you'll love that one. And we have great information on how you can record better patient testimonials in your clinic for very cheap and teach your staff how to do it. But first, let's get on with the tutorial. And of course, we have some caveats first. And that's gonna happen right now. Hello, I'm Paul from Instant Cairo, and I'm here to tell you that if you're not a registered and licensed chiropractor, then this video is not for you. This video requires you to be a registered and licensed chiropractor so that you can make your own clinical decisions. I am thousands of miles away and months in the past. I am not with you and your patient. Therefore, you are responsible for all the indications and contraindications and whether to use this technique. No warranty is implied with this and therefore we require you to make your clinical judgment under your chiropractic registration. This technique only works with the Arthrostrim instrument. The Arthrostrim instrument is the only instrument that operates at 12 to 14 beats per second and is a toggle recoil. 12 to 14 beats per second is necessary for our body to communicate with the instrument on the low beta somatomotor neuron level. That's the level that our body communicates to our brain with and therefore motion adjusting only works with the Arthrostrim tool. It's also the only adjusting tool that uses toggle recoil at those frequencies. Therefore, if you don't have this tool, this technique will not work. The correct tools are important. 
It's like changing a tire. If you try and change a tire with a tire iron, that works fantastically. If you try and change it with a chainsaw, the results will not be the same. And that's the same with the adjusting tools. The Arthrosim tool is the only tool that allows us to talk to the brain on that level and therefore increase our range of motion through motion adjusting. So I want you to know it works by using the correct tool. And also, if you're in California, watching this video may cause you to get cancer. That stops on your spurious lawsuits. So remember, it's all on you. You've got to make your own clinical judgment because I'm not there. You've got to be registered and licensed chiropractor and you've got to have the correct tools. If you do that, this technique will work fantastic and your clinic base will grow dramatically through these great wow adjustments that can happen on the first visit. I hope you enjoy these videos and I hope you have a great time with your adjusting tools using this technique and growing your practice. So first of all, I've ascertained that this patient here has some flexions, fixations and subluxations. And so I'm going to position her for her anterior thoracic by making sure her feet are together and her arms are tight. If her arms aren't tight, I'm going to make sure that they're tighter by the time I come to the adjustment. I'm then going to find the area where I'm going to go. And what I would do usually is I'd use my hand, like so. And there's so many components of the anterior thoracic that I would usually go into great depth, but we don't have time for that here. What I want to do is counter some of the usual things, and that's to make sure you're not bouncing off the patient first and then dropping down on the patient. And also to make sure that their arms are tight and that you're, you can press your arms before you adjust them and drop your body weight. But now I'm going to show you it with the TMT tool, and the hand position is exactly the same, but this one will lower down the spine, so I'm going to make sure we bring the patient up, and I'm rolling over the patient and talking my forearm at the same time. And that was a great adjustment. She enjoyed that one a lot and it got the job done very efficiently and that tool really helped out. Now if we're doing the upper thoracic spine, we want to be able to increase the pressure and the angle on that thoracic spine. And so, on the upper thoracic spine. And so after I've got my hand positioned correctly, that will come with time with that tool, I'm going to make sure that when I roll her towards me, her arms will be very tight, because I'm right up in T2, T3 area here and I'm going to drag those arms down and I'm going to get it to lift her pelvis up when it comes to time to adjust to increase the angle. There it goes, bam. And that went really, really well. Uh, great adjustment, great cavitation, everything felt fantastic. Number one with this tool, how does that feel? Good. Oh, pretty good, yeah? Yeah. Fantastic, all right. Different to a normal one? Check hand. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How do you feel different? It was softer. Oh, okay, that's good. And now we're going to deal with the subluxation part of this by using the Arthrosim tool. And obviously we can't go into full depth with that now, but the course is available for free off of instantcairo.com. Now we're going to do an overview of the extension arthrostim adjustment. And the goal of this adjustment is to get the patient's extension through the cervical and thoracic spines increased so that we can have more range of motion, a better physiological result, and also better posture. And we're going to start at the very top. I'm going to try and get right under that C0, C1 in those soft tissue areas, work our way through the cervical curve, over the CT junction, and then when we've hit resistance, and we're going to talk about resistance later, and when we hit those areas, we're going to go repeatedly over it. As we watch this again, I'm going to add some tips and some explanations in here. For instance, you may notice the patient is clothed. This doesn't present a problem as she's got thin clothing on. We're also going to get the patient to tuck that chin right under. And we're also going to provide resistance at the back of the, the, the neck. You can't see that on the video. My thumbs under the occiput there providing resistance. And then again, we're feeling that resistance and uh, putting more input into the thoracic region there. So that's a mini tutorial on the thoracic extension adjustment using the Arthrostim tool. For the full course at no extra cost at all, just head over to instantcaro.com and click on courses. And now back to the podcast. Now, until next time, I love you all above, down and inside out. <laughs>